The summer after my grandpa died, my mom had me help Nana a lot. Every Tuesday, Nana and I would take the trolley from our neighborhood to get into town so she could do her shopping. I really didn't mind. Nana was fun. And she'd always buy me popsicles and a new pack of baseball cards. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Hi. There we go. Thank you. Dad nicknamed my brother Shithead because of the chocolate batter ring around his mouth looked like he'd eaten dog poop. My mom yelled at my dad for calling him that, so he got the name Fudgy instead. First it was Fudge, then Fudgy. Nana says you can't pick a nickname, a nickname picks you. I wonder where she is. Dad said she'd be here by now. I hope she's okay. She's been forgetting things lately. Relax, she's just old. She's not that old. Yeah, she is. Any word from my Junie? Nope, they're still in the hospital waiting for mom to pop out the baby. <laughs> See ya! Her nickname for dad is Junie, which is short for Junior because my dad was named after his dad, Junie. She's the only one who gets away with calling him that. Have a good time. People thought it was great that mom was having a baby on Halloween. So we got extra handfuls of candy. And cause mom wasn't with us, Fudgy ate a piece of candy from almost every house and stuffed the wrappers in people's hedges. Now he's in the bathroom yakking it up. Well, he's learned his lesson. Know when to say when. Hello, Junie? Well? A girl! That's wonderful. What's her name? Grace. Oh, that's beautiful. Give that pumpkin a big kiss from me. Bye-bye. Pumpkin? Oh, I can't wait to squeeze that little pumpkin. Oh, your father says she's round and has a tinge of orange when she screams. Not even a few hours old, and she already has a nickname. Everyone in my family had a nickname. Junior, my older brother, Fudgy, now Pumpkin. And then there was me. I was just Paige. Anita Blackburn had scaly eczema. Summertime made it worse. She always scratched it, so it looked like dust coming through her shirt or pant leg. Ew. Fudgy always called her Anita Rashburn. Wendy Butler was always around, but probably only because she wanted to see Kenny. Everyone called Wendy Bubble Bum behind her back, because, well, when she walked to the water fountain, everyone would check out her butt. Kenny got his nickname, Kaboom blowing up a science experiment in Fudgy's class. The kids on our street would call them Boom and Bubble Bum. This is lethal good. Not as lethal as mine. Ow! Chasing Fudgy was dumb. He was too fast and probably could have had the nickname Flash. And no way I was going to let him have a cool name like that. A while later, 
boom got Bubble Bum pregnant. And some jerks called her all sorts of nicknames. But that's not the kind of nicknames you want to get called. What's taking her so long? Oh, don't worry. They'll be out of the doctor's appointment soon. Nana, we're at the supermarket. Of course we are. My Nana was funny like that. Mom would send us down to the store to go get milk. And as soon as we'd come home, Nana would ask me if I was ready to go get milk. Every time Mom drove us by our church, she'd point to the statue of Jesus giving a peace sign. And she'd give a peace sign back. She'd say out loud, Peace, Jesus. When Pumpkin was old enough and started to talk, she couldn't say Jesus, so she'd say cheese instead. So every time we drove by the Jesus statue, she'd wave and yell, Peace, cheese. Even Jesus had a nickname. Got any of the great Bambino? <laughs> they don't sell his cards anymore, Nana. No. Greatest ball player to ever live. How about, ooh, the splendid splinter. Pudge Fisk. You know, the ball could never get by him because he was a little chunky. <laughs> Baseball was the easiest sport to get yourself a nickname. You know what? I wish I batted Lefty. So maybe when I step into the batter's box, someone will yell, hey Lefty R, let's go Switch. Well, have you ever tried? Yes, Nana. I bat as bad as pumpkin and elbow myself in the face. <laughs> it was the best stick yet. If only Fudgy were here, he'd be impressed. Are you okay, Nana? Of course. Now, I promised you a new pack of baseball cards from the corner store, and I always keep my promise. <laughs> Nana, it's this way. Oh, silly me. <laughs> run so fast. I'd never seen my Nana run, so I ran too. My purse! Stop! Hey! Shut up, me? lady! Ah! Ah! Stay there! You two okay? What's your name, little lady? This is my granddaughter. Her name is Paige. Well, way to go, Popsicle Stick, Paige. Got a job, Popsicle Paige! <laughs> I told you, you can't pick a nickname. A nickname picks you. Thank you. You're welcome. Do not move. Nana said she was lucky to have me there that day. But I was lucky to have her, too. That was the last summer we spent together and it was perfect. I was the town hero. Well, at least for a little while. Even Fudgy thought it was cool because we got free popsicles at the corner store for the rest of that summer. Someone even gave me and Nana tickets to see a Sox game. Till this day, people still talk about the time Popsicle Page stabbed the guy on the street. Oh, and a few years later, Bubble Bum and Boom had a little girl. 
they named her Paige. 